All right, guys, welcome to another video of the Liberators. We're here to liberate you to, from your boredom. That's your boy, Lou. And uh, I've been dying to make a video like this, actually explaining my collection. And it took me five years to put this together. So this is going to be something that, I've, like, like I said, I've been dying to explain. So I just want to jump right into it. So right here at the top, we got the Morty mask. Uh, one of my friends gave me this thing when he went to the Rick and Morty convention in Philadelphia. Unfortunately, I couldn't go with him but he, he showed me a bunch of pictures and it looked like a blast. So he ended up buying this mask and he ended up giving it to me so I could have it for my collection. So let's put that back. Uh, right underneath it, we have the Sasuke versus Naruto uh, anime moment. I ended up getting this on a ridiculous sale. So uh, due to the pandemic and everything uh, closing down, they pretty much had this thing for like 50% of all. So I ended up getting it for like $15, I think with $5 shipping. So it's like $20 and this is like worth 40. So. You know, you can't, that's a come up, you know, man? Put this back. Underneath it, we have uh, One Punch Man. Uh, I actually really like this Funko Pop just because he's going grocery shopping. You guys can see right here. And it's just odd. You don't normally see things like that. So just the humanity and him going grocery shopping to me is dope because we all go grocery shopping. All right, let's put him back. Right next to him, we actually have Super Saiyan 2, I believe, Gohan. So this is when he fought Cell for the first time. Uh, this was actually my favorite arc in Dragon Ball Z because I'm a huge Gohan fan and that seemed to be like the first time they really focused in on Gohan being the main guy of Dragon Ball Z. Um, and next to that we have the Jorna Lucas signed ADHD album cover. Uh, I have ADD, this is a big inspiration for me. Uh, just saying how much he spoke about it and how much I can relate to him just in general. So I paid a buck fifty for this, I believe, and uh, it got his autograph, and he signed my name in the booklet. It's pretty cool, man. It was a nice investment. So let's put this right here. And then next, we got the SpongeBob cologne. So I'm going to start off with Patrick. I got this at Marshall's. Uh, I actually got the three of them at Marshall's. They were actually just there, sitting there. I think they were like $5 a piece, so I ended up buying them. But I couldn't smell them when I bought them, so I was like a little worried about it. But they actually smell good. Like this one smells like watermelon. Like, believe it or not, and I actually do use this one pretty often. Then we got Spongebob over here, and I like the Spongebob bottle because it's this hat that's actually what a cologne is, so let me show you that, you know, man? That's, like, sick to me, and you can put the Spongebob cap right back, and he's back ready to work. Uh, Spongebob smells like pineapple, and I do use Spongebob a lot more than I use Patrick. Patrick is more when I go to work. This is more if I'm going out, some casual stuff, I'll put Spongebob on. And then we got Squidward over here, Squidward is the definition of manliness no lie this this is this cologne just smells like what i imagine a man will smell like so if i'm going out on a date or something like that squidward is the guy to go matter of fact squilliam that's the name you know what I mean? and then back here on in the in the tuck tuck i have this fairy tale pop of the the character from fairy tale i'm not too familiar with fairy tale but i also am not someone that didn't watch it i have watched a little bit of fairy tale uh, I watched it enough to know it's not for me, but um, he's pretty cool with his fire moves and stuff like that. And I'm a sucker for anything with anime and fire. So, yeah, I got him. Uh, pretty cool anime moment pop. And then right on the next side to it, we got the Rick mask. Um, I'm not going to pull him out because of the frame, but uh, it's just the same thing with Morty. It was just something to have Rick and Morty together. Um, I also am a big Rick and Morty fan, so, yeah, that's why I got the Rick mask. Um, underneath here, we actually got the, I got one of each of the um, Rick and Morty family members. So this is the mom. I got her for like $10, like no lie. And this is her, I think it's Floppy Land. She's in, so she got the bat. She got her tactical gear. Uh, I, I really just like this pop because, you know, this is the episode where she pretty much beat on all her new imagination animals when she was a kid and stuff like that. So that was a funny episode to me. Then we got the dad. Um, and he has the, uh, the box for the meat skis. Uh, and this was a great moment for me as well, the meat ski pop. And just some of the cool uh, meat skis that came out in the box and how they did anything for them. So I, I had to get this pop when it came out. And then we got Beth uh, right next to them. This Beth one, I believe this is uh, inspired by, if I'm not mistaken, um, uh a post a post apocalyptic is supposed to be some type of movie like that um but it was real sick and i i just remember that it was the guy with the bucket on his head that she got married to and she had like a big uh episode in that one so yeah i got i had to get this beth one 
And then we got like my two favorites, which is obviously Rick and Morty. So I got Morty hitting his little, uh, I don't know what this is called, a little instrument that make music. But uh, this is definitely a funny moment too that happens inside of the episode where him and Morty end up making music uh, because the, uh, the aliens come to destroy the planet. And that's a funny episode too. So not all of my Rick and Mortys all match like exactly scenes, but they're all from special moments that I myself personally enjoyed um, from throughout the experience of watching Rick and Morty. And this is one of the first Rick and Morty pops that I actually had was Rick. Um, I don't have the box of this one. This was actually given to me from a neighbor, and he gave it to me just like this. He found it on the floor. He knew I liked the Funko Pops. He thought I'd be able to, you know, clean it up. I did actually clean him up. He was a lot messier when I got him. And uh, like I said, uh, this was my first Rick and Morty pop. And then uh, right here we got Mr. Poopy Butho. He was. This is the episode where Mr. Poopy Butho got shot. Uh, believe it or not, you know this this guy is hilarious. And um, we're never not going to forget he's not real. You know what I mean? That's why he got shot to prove he's a real person. So, And then behind that, we have a picture of me and my uncle and my niece. Uh, my uncle recently passed away, so he's a big inspiration for me. And I got my niece in the background because, like I said, she's coming out in a lot of the videos. So just to focus in back on who I am. Um, underneath here, oh, man, this took me, like, forever to collect. But underneath here, now we got the My Hero, Ac my Hero Academia show. So from this side, I got from number one to number 26 of My Hero Academia volumes. Um, I actually do read them, and when they come in, I actually do check them out. But I'm also aware of where the anime, I mean, the manga is way farther than these. So I'm actually up to date as well on what's happening right now in My Hero. But I get these just for fun and just to collect them. And up top, um, I actually haven't read most of these, but I read like three of them, Vigilantes. And that's another really great My Hero series. Um, I'm hoping eventually they'll be able to do their own show because I feel like it's definitely underrated. And even though I only read these three, it's definitely worth getting its own anime. So underneath, we have something completely new, uh, Juju Kaisen. This series just came out, if I'm not mistaken, almost like, I want to say like a year ago, but I think the anime just came out recently. And uh, I'm, I'm caught up with the anime. I'm only on book six in this one. But uh, there's definitely more Juju Kaisen to come. I actually do have uh, two of the Juju Kaisen statues ordered. I'm just waiting for them. Um, I got uh, the main character, which I, I don't know his name off the bat right now. But um, I definitely did watch Juju Kaisen. It's definitely good. I'm having the main character come in and then the dude with the wolves. Um, I will get down their names. But it's still new and I haven't really got too much into it. Like I said, I think I'm only on the fifth one. But... Um, yeah, I like Juju Kaisen. I definitely recommend it. It's definitely a sick anime. Then we're going to go down here to Demon Slayer. This, it took me a, a, a good, like, month to collect all of these Demon Slayer books because they were literally sold out. Like, literally, to complete that set is, is ridiculous. But I was able to do it. I got 1 through 20. There's only 23 Demon Slayer books out, and that's I think the 23rd one is going to be the last one. So... I believe that one's dropping this year. So by the end of this year, we will have the complete Demon Slayer books done. And then I do have more statues coming. So I got Tanjiro right here. This is actually my favorite character in Demon Slayer. It's got to be Tanjiro. Um, I love his water style, and I love the fact that he can do fire style. So, so to me, that, that's like a, a nice mix. Um, I do have a Zuzetsu statue coming in next, and that's my second favorite. I love Zuzetsu with his electricity and the fact that he's always scared and uh, it... He has to kind of be unconscious for him to get into that other type of character or that stronger type of mode. Um, those are my two favorites. I do like uh, the, uh, the dude with the boar on his head. Uh, I'm losing his name right now, but I do like him. And I do have a statue of him coming, and then I have one of Nezuko. So like I said, there's going to be more to the Juju Kaisen and to the Demon Slayers. But because they're so brand new and there's not much pops or much figures out there of these two shows in general. That's why the shelves are cleared, but we will be getting some things coming in. Now we're moving on to the Yu Yu Hakusho show. Now I got really lucky when I, I was a big fan of Yu Yu Hakusho since I was a kid. Like I remember growing up watching Adult Swim and I used to like Dragon Ball Z and then Yu Yu Hakusho came on a little bit after Dragon Ball Z and I remember my parents not letting me to stay up to watch it 
So I remember my, my older sister one day, she got tired of me, you know, crying to my mom about watching it. So she told my mom, look, I'll stay up and I'll watch it with her. She said, not a problem. And she was the one who started watching uh, Yu Yu Hakusho with me. Ended up becoming one of my favorite animes of all time. Something that really brought me into anime was Yusuke and Yu Yu Hakusho. So just to be able to complete this set meant a lot to me. And I actually have two sets of these. So I have one set obviously open and on display. And I have another set put away, boxed up. So I, I guess we'll just start from the top. I got a Yusuke custom uh, print. It's not a custom. Like I don't. It's not. I'm not the only one that owns it. But it was somebody that made this and was selling prints of it. So I got a custom print of Yusuke. Um, down here we got Yusuke doing the spear gun. Uh, that Funko. I think he's going for it right now. Like I, I know he was recently vaulted um, as a price range. I think now he's worth sixty. But I could be wrong about that. Uh, Kuwabara is right next to him. And Kuwabara hasn't been voted yet, but um, Kuwabara is slowly going up. I think I got Kuwabara for $15, and this Yusuke, I got him for 10 So believe it or not, I got Yusuke, Kuwabara, and Bo Botan on a deal. It was $15 for the three of them, and they didn't have boxes. So that's why you see them, them three out here. The ones, Some of these that you see without boxes, I either got without a box. It was somebody's own set. Or I do have the box personally put away, safe in the stash, and I've just got these all on display. So, um, Kurama, I did pay for Kurama. I do have the, um, the box for Kurama. Kurama did cost me a little bit. I ended up spending $20 on Kurama. But it's fine. Like, I really like his pop, the way the vine, the vine is uh, behind him. Like, I, I just really think that's a sick idea to have the you know the vine coming out from behind and the way he stands I just think it's a it's a clean stand you know what I mean it doesn't have many faults or problems with it then right next to him we have obviously Hiei now this was an exclusive uh, if I'm not mistaken Funimation I think it was some type of anniversary I don't know if it was a 10 year anniversary or 20 year anniversary but uh, they released this pop and this one is now officially voted too um, again, I don't know what the exact price it's going for. I think, I think it was only went up like 60 or 70 bucks for right now. But Hie is on the rise right now. So if you guys want to cop up on Hie and Yusuke, those are the two to grab because they're bolted and they're on the rise. Now we got Botan. And like I said, this was off someone else's collection. So unfortunately, Botan's a little broken in the back. She's supposed to have a stand that will make her stand like this. But if you look at the back, it actually came like that. Uh, the person tried gluing the stand in there. So when the stand came, it came smashed already. So there was no way of getting that piece out or fixing it because they super glued it to it. But either way, you know, for what I wanted it for, it was still worth it. You know, I still got both on display. And she doesn't fall either because I keep her back between the shelf. So it kind of helps her stand up. Uh, next to her, we have, now this one came out last year, so if you still want to get it, I'm pretty sure you can. This is Kurama in his beast mode. Uh, we, we see him a bunch of different times in the anime. This is Kurama's strongest form, in my opinion. Uh, I love how the rose whip goes down, and it's supposed to symbolize, like, the anime. How he always had those rose petals coming out from around him whenever he popped up and stuff. So this is just a cool, like, anime moment reference thing. And uh, it definitely reminds me of every time Kurama went into this form, every time I look at this pop. And then to finish off the Yu Yu Hakusho pops, we have Demon Yusuke. Uh, this is one of my favorite Yu Yu Hakusho pops. And this is also one of the most newest pops that they made also for uh, Yu Yu Hakusho. So Kurama, Beast Mode, and Demon Yusuke are, the, are, are two you can find pretty much everywhere right now. Um, any of your local Hot Topics will have these two because they were recently just dry. So I'm pretty sure you could get them for like 20 bucks. But I really like the detail in it, how his jeans are ripped up just like that episode. He's missing a shoe just like that episode. So again, in terms of like an anime moment, this is definitely an anime moment where you can watch the anime and be like, oh, this pop came exactly from this scene. So I mean, it's just detailed. I love the tattooing on Yusuke. Uh, I guess it's like curse marks or whatever these things are, or demon marks, but these look sick. And I love how the hair came out. Because Demon Yusuke is a tough pop to do, but I think they really nailed his look. And then right here, we have a picture frame of the Yu Yu Hakusho cast. Now, I got to get a better frame for this. That's why it's hanging out. But I got these when I got the season, uh, the complete series of Yu Yu Hakusho. So I got the Blu-ray for each one of these. Um, and each one of them came out with like two or three cards. So I got a couple of them just on display. Just to, you know, make this pop a little bit more. 
And then underneath that, we have complete one piece set. Let me just start here. So I ended up getting this one piece set on eBay. Uh, it was going for $150. And the reason why I bought it was because not only did it come with the One Piece crew, but it also came with some nice exclusive ones. So back here we got Law. Law is an expensive pop, you know what I mean? And uh, when Law came out on sale, I wasn't into Funko Pops at the time. So I kind of missed my opportunity to grab a Law Pop, right? So this person had their Law Pop also included in this bundle. The problem was they didn't have boxes. But for my idea, what I wanted to do for display purposes, I thought it would be an excellent idea. So I try to get as much One Piece as I can, because I'm a huge One Piece fan. So just to have this Law Pop, even though it doesn't have a box, it still means a lot. You know, and you were able to get the complete set. So it's not only did I get Law, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll zoom in on the others as well. So we have like Mini Law as well. I think he was, he was $20 and he's going for like 30 so that ain't bad like in terms of like value or come up you know I got mini law and then I got Boa Hancock over here Boa Hancock this was another one that came like I said with the with the box of the complete set so I didn't have her boxed up I'm not gonna lie this is her back I didn't have her boxed up um so this is my one and only version of her but I will get one of her boxed up soon um and then we got Rooster I, I don't know why I grabbed Rooster I just kind of felt like I needed him after watching the uh, Dolph out arc where, you know, he kind of pops up in a tournament and how he's a huge fan of the One Piece Pyre crew. So I just figured, like, yeah, you, you kind of need him for the One Piece show. Um, but I'm going to go back up to the One Piece, and I'm going to start from back to forward. So we have Buff Chopper. This is the most recent One Piece pop. Um, this was a exclusive, I believe a Comic-Con exclusive. I believe just the recent last one that came up. Um, this one wasn't bad. I think I paid like 35 for it because I had to get it on eBay. Just because, I mean, if you're a Funko Pop shopper, you know that shopping on the website on release day is almost impossible. Like, it's almost impossible to get on Hot Topic and to be like, this is the pop I want and for you to get it in your bag and order it. Because usually by the time they post it up, it's already sold out. You know what I mean? And it's happened to me multiple times. So if you're going to get like a, a Comic-Con pop, I would suggest going on eBay and if you have to spend a little extra, that's what I usually do to make sure I'm able to get one. So this is Buck Chopper. I really like the way he looks, uh, even in the detailing. Like, I really feel like this is Buck Chopper. I mean, there's no, no denying in his face and his little outfit. I, I wish they would have gave him his little backpack, but I understand why they didn't give him his little backpack. Um, but, you know, this just looks sick, you know, and I like his little fur around his neck. That was a cool little addition. I'm actually going to move him a little to the side so I can grab out Brooke now. Now this was one of the main reasons why I bought this One Piece set completed was because if anyone knows anything about One Piece Pops, this is literally the highest going pop besides Law. Like him and Law are going, you know, neck for neck with each other. And um, I, again, didn't have the opportunity to get a Brooke Pop uh, when it was out. I believe this is some type of Comic-Con exclusive too, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, again, I don't have the box, but just the fact that I was able to have one to display it and for have it for the One Piece shelf, it really just means a lot. Like this is like, I never thought I would see something like this, you know? So I have it and every day I get to look at it, it's just amazing to me. So it definitely was a great investment. And just the pop itself is sick. Like this really looks like Brooke. I understand Brooke is like a skeleton. It's not hard to, you know, mess that up. but. The way the whole outfit looks, like this just, just blends perfectly with Brooke. And then, especially with his little mystery mini, like it just looks right together. Put him back. And then I'll display the mystery mini. He got the little coffee cup on him. And I love the way his crown is, the way he's the king. Like that, that crown on top of his hat has always been sick to me. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah, there goes his little hand. <laughs> Alright, we'll put him back. And then we're moving on to Frankie. There you go. Put him back. Moving on to Frankie. So Frankie's over here, and Frankie's the human robot. Uh, Frankie's pop is just sick. You know what I mean? They kind of display his body and his new haircut. Um, I kind of wish his arms were just a little bit bigger because, you know, Frankie's a big guy. But they didn't They didn't go wrong here. This looks really sick. This detail they put in. I like his hat. I like his shirt. I like how he's wearing his Speedos like he is in the anime. Uh, you know what I mean? It just looks like Frankie. There's not much to say. If I could say anything, it would be that they gave him his first season haircut. Like when he first appeared, how he had that kind of Jim uh, Carrey hair. I, I, I really liked that. But, 
you know, now I understand now he's bald, so you know, I, I don't care. It looks dope anyway. And then the next one, the mystery mini, we have uh this is also from the Dofi arc. I really like this this uh this mystery mini because this is the uh, if you watch that arc, you know, Frankie's all about manlyhood and how to be a man. And he has one of his most manliest battles uh in this arc. So this was real dope and the way Frankie kept shooting rockets out of his uh cannons out of his hair. Uh, I, I don't think it worked, matter of fact, in the anime, but that but that was a sick idea that they had the wig that was a cannon. Um, so we put this back. And then right next to Frankie, we got Raven. Um, and she's pretty sick. Like, I like her pop. Uh, there's not really too much to say about her pot. I wish they would have did more with her, honestly. Um, maybe more with her hands or something like that. But, I mean, she's in positions, you know, to do her power. So, to me, there's not much to say about her pot. It is sick, though. I do like the design. Like, it's not like it's a bad pot. And then we got her little mystery mini right here. Her little mystery mini, to me, looks a little bit off. But I'm okay with that. Uh, just to me, maybe her nose looks a little too big. I'll chop it off. I'll get it later. Maybe her nose just a little too long or something. But I, I, I don't mind it for what it is. Like I said, to me, it looks, it looks pretty good. And I mean that, that's pretty much her outfit. So there's no denying that that's not her. You know what I mean? Maybe they could have gave her her hat or something. But you know, that's for something. That's for another day. Now we got the two choppers. Uh, this one, these two are pretty dope. You got them both together. Uh, to me, Chopper is just the heart and soul of the One Piece crew, so I had to get Chopper. Uh, I love how this Chopper has the gun and the military gear just ready, and this one's poking something with a stick. It's just, you know what I mean, the balances of Chopper, you know? Alright, right after that, now we got the Sanji Mystery Mini and Sanji Pop. Uh, Sanji Pop is real sick, so I had the Sanji Pop in my collection for a while and I never opened it until I got um no I never opened it and then I got the complete uh set which they were already open so this is my first time really looking at the Sanji pop without a box and this to me like lived up to the hype like just the flames around his kick and and stuff and how his leg naturally like catches on fire with his move so I thought this was a great representation for Sanji love that he got his little cigarette with him and then his mystery mini to me just was perfect. See Lee Sanji with his hands in his pocket. You know what I mean? Not doing much. Because Sanji is a kind of laid back type of guy. He's always kind of slouching around. So, yeah, I would say, you know, they, they got his identity perfectly with these two. And we're almost done to One Piece, guys. I know this is a... I know One Piece has a, so many pirates with them in their crew. And to think that they still didn't even make Jinbei. So, you know, once they get Jinbei, I'll have to squeeze Jinbei in here. But this is Usopp, the sniper god. Usopp it was literally one of my least liked characters growing up. I, I grew up kind of watching One Piece. I was familiar with it. Uh, me and my friend, I think his favorite was Usopp, and mine was uh, Zoro. But the second time around watching One Piece is when I really fell in love with it. And then uh, for me, my favorite character is Luffy. I just thought I'd throw that out there right now before I get asked in the comment section. My favorite character in One Piece is Luffy. So we got the sniper god going back. And now we got the Navigator Nami. Uh, Nami's pop is pretty it's pretty cool, but it's it's kind of like the same with, with uh, Robin, uh, where she, it just doesn't have much going for it. Like, you know, it's Nami. It's her doing a pose. They're obviously sexualizing her body. Um, not much to Nami, you know what I mean? But I do like the fact that she got the tattoo. So the fact that they added that little bit of detail, that's pretty cool. And even on the Mystery Mini, they added the Arlong tattoo as well. So, I mean, if that's anything you got to put on Nami would be the Arlong tattoo. So, they nailed this. You know what I mean? I would have kind of preferred if it wasn't so much sexualized. But, you know, you get what you can take with these. Then we got Zoro. And like I said, Zoro growing up was my favorite straw hat. So, I had to get his. If I'm not mistaken, either the Zoro pop is right now uh, vaulted or it was being vaulted. So, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know the value off the top of my head. But I think he's going for like 50 or 60 and then his mystery mini, this was actually really easy to get. I got him for like 12, you know what I mean? Uh, and I believe he came with a set with Sanji, Usopp, Nami, and Luffy. So like I said, you can really like, you know, get these little mystery minis. 
on a nice deal depending on who you're buying from. So I'll put Zoro back. Oh, and this is Zoro in his Wano outfit. And this is real sick too. How he's got the little cloak. And he's still wearing the belt from the first season. He's obviously missing the eye. We still don't know why he's missing it. The three swords. I mean, this it just looks complete. Looks like Zoro. And he's got his little headband on his arm. So I thought they knocked out Zoro out the park. And then we got Luffy. And then Luffy, you could kind of tell, like, Luffy was, was a first-gen pop. You know, you, you could kind of tell when you look at him, like, this was one of their first tries at Luffy. Um, and, and to me, it, it's just the color. Like, when you look at the coloring, how the belt and it meshes with the blue, it doesn't really mesh well yet. And it looked like Funko was still getting uh, learning how to do certain things. Even in the way that the pop is formed, like, nowadays, if, if you can even look at the shelf, if you look at Usopp, Sanji, Chopper, Robin... Um, even Frankie, they all got eyebrows. Luffy doesn't, and neither does Zoro, and neither does Nami. So you kind of see where the Funko Pops progressed during the time periods. You know what I mean? So this is one of their first pops. So that's why Luffy looks not too much like Luffy. But again, I don't knock it. I really like this pop. Um, again, I actually was able to get their set like without Brook or without Law. I was able to get this set uh, when I started watching uh, One Piece for the second time. And I got them all relatively cheap, like lie to you not, like 13 bucks a piece. And uh, all on eBay, all buying them like that. Oh, let me show you, oh, guys, Luffy. This is Luffy Mystery Mini. This is uh, him fighting Dolph. I love his shirt, you know what I mean? It's different, and I love that it matches his Dolph art. It's not too much to say about this, Luffy. But um, I ended up getting them all real cheap. And then right after I ended up buying them all, they started going up in value, which was real cool for me. Uh, right after I got the Zoro, I think it was like a month later, Zoro was rumored to start being vaulted, and then that went through. Um, if I'm not mistaken, too, Ace, who I have over here, he's been vaulted as well. And I have two at Ace. I have obviously, like I said, one in the one in the box, and I had one out. But um, he's been vaulted, so his price went up too. And if I'm not mistaken, I I think there was talks of maybe Nico Robin, uh, potentially. I know I said Raven too. That was on my head. Uh, Nico Robin. Uh, maybe being vaulted, but I'm not too sure about that. I, I know there's been talks about it. So now we're just going to go back down here. I already showed y'all the rest of the One Piece pop, so we don't have to do that. And then I got the Jade Shemron. I really felt like this just brought everything together when I saw it out there. Um, I, like I said, I used to be a big Dragon Ball Z head. As I got older, I'm not too much uh, crazy into Dragon Ball Z, but I still check out the latest movies or the latest uh, series to it. Like, I'm pretty sure I've heard they're doing another series, I think, after Super or continuing Super, maybe. Um, but it looks interesting. I'm definitely going to check it out. This is the Jade Dragon. I mean, just in the point of, of the Dragon Balls and how everything's looking, to me, it just looks sick. Like, there's, the, you, you can put this on somewhere, right, and someone will really think it's Jade. Like, you know what I mean? People really ask, is this a real Jade Dragon? Like, you know, th that's how. And it's not. It's just plastic. But it, the way it looks is crazy to me. And then we got the... Right here, we got the, the boys, the OG guys eating. You know what I mean? I felt like we, we if they were going to have eating pops, they needed to be together. So we got Vegeta right here. Or I grab Vegeta out. Vegeta with his little ramen noodles. And uh, I like it because they're all doing something unique with their face. So Vegeta's kind of like blowing the noodles, you know, trying to air them out. Uh, it's just a real sick pop. Like, I love the detail in Vegeta's alpha like it really looks like vegeta you know hands down so we got vegeta blowing the, the the noodles blowing the smoke out we got naruto not even doing anything with his mouth you know naruto is uh, just about to eat uh he's picking up his noodles and this is real sick you know what i mean this pop is it the gun the detail they put into these type of pops is just amazing because sometimes funko is a little hit or miss with their detail but this one the detailing in them is, is amazing and then we have uh, goku eating noodles as well and Goku's actually, of course, he will be slurping down on these things. So they they gave him the perfect mouth for this. And this is Goku with his halo. I thought this was a nice little detail into this. And then the way it's actually standing, it's actually connected to his hair. So it's like it's floating, which is a great little detail as well. So I'm going to flip Goku around too. Again, Goku looks real sick, you know, really detailed. Can't say much about him uh, besides that. But there you go. You got Goku, Vegeta, and Naruto all eating noodles. And we're going to move on to the third and bottom. So, right here is my Baruto collection. Now, Baruto just started in terms of, like, anime pops. 
So there's not many anime pops of Baruto. I think there's only like one or two figures of Baruto himself. And I don't really want to get the Baruto figures yet. So for right now, I just have on display everything I have of Baruto. So I have the Baruto mangas number 1 through 10. This is caught up too. This is where we're at currently is at number 10. On top, we have Baruto. I'll take him out and display it for you guys. We have Baruto right here doing the Shadow Clone Jutsu. Uh, obviously, Naruto's technique. And I really like this pop, even though it's not the coolest. It's just because of the detailing in his outfit. Like, it actually looks like, you know, the, the show. And then it reminds me so much of Naruto. Like, it didn't, it didn't hit me until I'm actually looking at the pop, how much his outfit is like an updated Naruto. And, um, you know, just watching this show, it, it hits certain points at me. Because I was a Naruto head growing up. Um, I definitely watched it with my family. Uh, favorite Naruto person is probably Shikamaru, if I had to say. That's my guy. But um, Naruto just meant a lot to me growing up. So right next to him, right next to Baruto, we have Sadara, who's uh, Sakura, and Sasuke's daughter. So one thing I really like just on her is her glasses. I mean, her glasses to me are on point. And they actually look like glasses, and they don't throw her off too much. So... It actually is a, de uh, a dope detail to her. I like the little kunai that she has in her arm. I like the little chia symbol that she has in the back of her dress. I like that her dress is very reminiscent to like Sakura in the first season, but it's pink instead of being, uh, uh, or red instead of being what Sakura's was, was pink. So we have them two. Next we have Mitsuki. Uh, this is Mitsuki doing his, I believe, some type of jutsu technique. Um, I'm not too familiar on what Mitsuki's doing. I know he is this uh, clone of Orochimaru, or Orochimaru created him, something like that. He's like a lab experiment. He's actually pretty dope too. Um, he, you know, he's not one of my favorite characters in Baruto. I just feel like Baruto, they they haven't hit their point yet where it's really interesting. I feel like there's just mostly filler. So if you're watching the Baruto anime, I understand it's it's kind of a hard, um, a kind of a hard series to grapple because they're not really doing much with it. So right next to here, we have the Chase Funko Pop, uh, what is it, Seventh Hokage Naruto. Uh, this is actually a real dope pop. It's, it's actually worth a lot of money. Um, I have it out on display because of a funny reason. So I, I, I actually bought this one for like $130 and I have the box uh, put away. And then I ended up going on Earth Entertainment and I saw that they had uh, one of the pops it was like hit or miss you know either this one or the regular one and like I said I had already dropped like a hundred dollars for this one so in my eyes it was like I'm not gonna get another one of these I was gonna get the original version you know him without the yellow around him and um, instead I so it was twenty dollars I paid for it and this came in through mail again so I have two of them so now I got one on display and one on on display and I still gotta get the regular version of Naruto in this Hokage form by the way Right next to him, we have Sasuke, adult Sasuke. This is relatively new on the, the Baruto line. Like if I had to say, this is probably the newest one out of the Baruto line. Uh, it's real sick. You know, Sasuke doesn't have his arm. And they, they detail that in this shot. You could kind of tell he doesn't have an arm. Or the way his, like, uh, sleeve is kind of put. You could tell, like, he's armless. Uh, I love the fact that he got his sword out. It just, like, to me embodies what Sasuke is now in Baruto. So for me, like this pops, this these Baruto pops hit for sure. Um, back behind the Baruto pops, let me just bring these things out. These are the Japanese sodas called ramen, and we have Mitsuki that's grape, uh, Baruto that's uh, pineapple flavor, and we have Sadara that's pomegranate. So I have these three in the background as well with my Baruto pops. Uh, kind of as book holders, I'm not going to lie. I kind of got Mitsuki holding the book, but I kind of put the drinks to like support Mitsuki. So I got these three drinks. And then we have the Naruto sugar candies right here. So Naruto, Baruto kind of thing. Underneath him is now the Naruto shelf. Now I wanted to kind of keep Naruto and Baruto together because, you know, they're almost the similar things. And right here is some of my Naruto pops that I would choose to uh, put out there. So we got Shidori, Shine Gun, Kakashi. Now the only way you could get this pop is if you bought that uh, Naruto Ramen Bowl um, Funko Pop exclusive. And it came with a bunch of cool stuff. This was just one of the pops that came out with it. Um, and in terms of like value, I think you're paying like $30 for that bin. And you would have paid like $30 for this by itself. So 
that's a good value. You're getting that plus a bunch of other stuff for free if you really think about it. Uh, right next to him, we got Sakura. Now, Sakura, this is like one of the first gen pops, I believe, or second gen pops they made for Naruto and Naruto Shippuden. Uh, I love the Sakura to pop itself just because I'm a big guy of getting um, the, the, different, the different characters. I like to differentiate. I don't want a whole bunch of Naruto's. So um, the fact that they even made Sakura to pop, I thought it was really cool. And then, the, again, I'm all about the detailing in her. And the detailing in her outfit is just matches the show so very much. And I even love how her headband is red. And she's kind of one of the few characters that have the leaf headband in red. So it's very interesting to me. Then right next to him, we have Shippuden Sasuke. So this is like, in my opinion, not one of my coolest pops that I have. But he is one of the only Sasuke adult pops that I have. So there's, there's not many Sasuke pops, first off. Number two, I do have the young Sasuke with the Shidori, but I felt like young Sasuke would have never fit with older Naruto, and they don't have a young Naruto pop, so it's kind of funny how they set it up. And this is like the only Shippuden Sasuke that they have right now on the market. So, you know, obviously I had to get it. Um, this is obviously like I was explaining to you with uh, Luffy. This was one of the first waves, and you can just tell by looking at it and just tell by the paint job. Like, if you really look at his feeding, you could tell where the paint job is, and that's how you can tell where it's like it was an older pop, you know what I mean? Where when it, some of these older pops, they kind of details like that kind of were, were left on the, you know, on the side. So we're going to move past Shippuden Sasuke, and we're going to move on onto Sage Mode Naruto. This one is probably my favorite Naruto pop on here not even gonna lie just the detail in him and he's worth I, I i forget how much he's worth but i know he's my second highest naruto pop that i have and i just couldn't resist opening him and, and keeping the box secure just because I, I mean look at his cape i mean they just the detailing in this is just almost amazing and to me it just it just embodies naruto sage mode almost a hundred percent perfectly like his eyes are perfectly painted you know what i mean the suit looks perfect it, it, it's just a perfect idea to do sage mode naruto let's just put him back here and then we have my favorite character i had to get shikamaru i'm still waiting on this set right here so i ordered from a brand new uh, site these naruto pops i'm still waiting for them to come in so uh, this one came in from gamestop so i'd still uh so i can actually have it for display but like i said this is my favorite character shikamaru i love the way this pop is <clears throat> i love the way this pop is and the way this pop is set up I love his shadows and the way they're coming off the ground. I mean, I thought the shadow clone, I mean, uh, the, the shadow style jutsu, what he does, I thought that was amazing. So just the fact that they were able to display it like this is, is dope to me. And then we got Rock Lee. Now, something I do wish Funko would do more is, like, finish the One Piece character, uh, the One Piece, the Naruto characters. So, like I said, we got Team 7 right here. I wish they would uh, would have done Shikamaru's team, like, you know, and Choji, and then you could have had Neji uh rock lee uh and in and uh Tencent. but you know we're just still missing a couple i'm pretty sure they're on the works of making them because the last i heard was with this wave there was supposed to be a kiba pop but they pushed kiba back so if they are doing kiba then that then that maybe there is a sign that the rest of the naruto cast will get made and then we could finally finish out this shelf but behind them if i can move these two back up let me show you rock lee it's real quick he's doing a kick this Rock Lee Pop is sick, man. Not even gonna lie. I like how the stand is and how he's just, you know, doing the regular kick in the air. Love it. Love the way his suit looks. It looks perfectly like him. My only thing is, like, if they wanted to do a Mike Guy Pop, it would be very difficult because he just looks like Rock Lee, you know? But now we're gonna go into the drinks. So I have the Naruto Ramen drinks as well. And I have the complete one of these as well. So I'm gonna be breaking out the last two of these. Ooh, let's drop that. And then I'll take it out and show you the flavors. So we have Gara here. And the Gara is watermelon. Um, I feel like it makes sense why Gara would be watermelon because he's like in the desert. I don't know why I feel like watermelons would be found in the desert, but I don't know. When I seen that, I said, just makes sense, you know. Uh, we got raspberry Itachi. Uh, I actually had this before, before I was like collecting this. And this was actually really good, you know what I mean? Uh, and I feel like it makes sense because Itachi with the red and stuff, raspberry. Maybe cherry would have made more sense. I feel like cherry would have been popping. Uh, now we got Kakashi. 
He's actually the only one. I think him and Gara are the only ones I haven't tried before off this set. Um, but we do have the Naruto uh, Ramen Kakashi uh, lychee flavor. And uh, I'm not too sure what this one tastes like. This is the one I'm actually really excited. So I do have a set of these upstairs. Uh, Y'all will be seeing in a future video of me trying all of these. Um, so like I said, and I never really tried the Baruto one. So in terms of like which ones I tried, I, I tried Sasuke, Naruto, and Itachi. Um, so I tried three. Um, but we're going to have all of them in that video to try. Uh, after Kakashi, we have Naruto. And his is Raspberry. Uh, just off my experience, and like like I said, I've had three of them. Naruto is the best flavor. Like just out of the three, he was the best tasting one. His is blueberry, and I feel like it makes sense because if his Rasengan is blue, so that makes sense why they gave him like a blue ball on his hand. Uh, it's real dope, and the color looks sick. Then we got Sasuke, last one, and his is melon flavor. This is the one that like didn't make sense at all. Like Sasuke being green was like, what? You know what I mean? Sasuke should have at least been purple or some type of like evil color. You know, I don't think green embodies Sasuke. But it's a really good one, believe it or not. Like it tastes, I'm not a big melon fan, but it tastes really good. So let's put these back. And then uh, right next to these drinks, we have uh, some Naruto books. These are actually like Naruto books. books. These are not like Naruto mangas. And they just kind of explain what the Naruto series happened after. So let's move these two guys so you can actually see what I have. Um, we have, uh, just start from here, Sasuke's story. Uh, this is what happens after Sasuke and after Shippuden ends. Kakashi's story kind of sums up what happens to Kakashi and everything that happens with him after the Naruto series ends. The Sakura story, which kind of wraps up everything that happens with Sakura. And then obviously Shikamaru, and I'm going to say the same thing. It wraps up everything that happens with Shikamaru. Um, and then right next to it is actually three Baruto books, even though they say Naruto. These are actually Baruto um, books. And uh, it's all three of them grown up. So the first one is Family Days um, with Naruto. And it's basically all about Naruto and Baruto and how they get together. Uh, then we got Sasuke's Star Pupil, which is all about Sasuke and Sadara. Um, it's like another story about them. I, I haven't really read these two, I'm not going to lie. Um, so I'm not too familiar with what's in there, but I, I'm aware that it's all about Sadara and Sasuke. And then we have Shikamaru's uh, Morning Clouds, and uh, that's all about Shikamaru and his son Shikadai. Uh, that's a really cool one as well. Uh, I only read like the first chapter of there, but it was hilarious. It was about like him coming home late from work, and his wife being like super pissed at him, and then his son like throwing him underneath the uh, the bridge and shit by telling his mom where he was at. So it was kind of funny. Um, definitely worth it and I'm definitely going to try to get like the Itachi books and something else to try to finish this uh, or complete this and I definitely want to also uh, get some more of these Naruto pops when they start doing other characters to really fool this out so on this side I'm just going to take them out because they're kind of hard to see where I got them I do got the the, the signings over here so we have a Ruchimaru and this is just a sick one I never thought we will see an Ruchimaru pop but when they came out with it, I was like, yeah, it makes sense. And then when I saw what it looks like, like absolutely makes sense. Love how the snakes are coming out. I even love how the snakes are like real shiny. And I love his sword, even though he doesn't really, I don't know. I've never really seen a Ruchimaru use a sword all like that. But that is dope that they gave him a sword. Not saying that he doesn't have one. I just don't remember him using one like that. Now we got Tsunade. And this is a really cool Tsunade pop. Just because it just like I said, it really looks like her. Um, I think in the body, in the arms, and in the I mean, she was always punching people with super strong strength. So I feel like you get that type of vibe with her that she's about to punch somebody. Um, I love the Hokage symbol in the back. I think that's dope. And then we go over here, and I love her her little uh, her little diamond on her forehead, which it actually makes her younger and stuff. We find out holds her chakra, so that's like really dope that they gave her that as well. And then obviously I needed to get Jiraiya. So Jiraiya's is real sick. Uh, Jiraiya on the frog. You know, you got to have all three of these together. I think it would have been sick if this thing maybe glowed or maybe was a different color. But even with that, this is still like a real dope Funko Pop. I mean, when you just look at the frog himself. I don't know. I don't think this is Gamakichi. But uh, I'm not aware what frog could this be. But maybe this is just like a regular, you know, frog. Probably not naming somebody. But that's a, a real dope pop. Like, I'll even show you the back if I haven't. But 
Jiraiya on top of this frog is definitely one of my favorites, like Naruto ones. Um, I did say Toad Sage is my favorite Naruto pop, but this is definitely up there. And then the last shelf for the day, this is just pretty much my 90s shelf. So these are classic animes that I saw growing up. So we got Inuyasha over here. So I got Demon Inuyasha. Uh, I honestly, I, I don't have uh, Inuyasha with his regular sword. Even though I, I should grab it, I just like the Demon Inuyasha better. But now that I looked at it, I felt like I should get him with the sword and then take this one and put it back in his box. Um, right next to him, we have Shishomaru and Shishomaru Beast for him. Uh, I, I, that, that's just a perfect setup, man. Like, I seen somewhere where someone had uh, this, Nar this Naruto pop on uh, that Kurama that glowed in the dark and that's what like gave me the idea of like maybe Shishomaru will fit on top of himself um, which he did and that was just like a hot idea and I love the way that both Shishomaru stand, can stand like that so for those of you who don't watch Inuyasha these are both the same guy he actually can turn into this demon uh, this, this wolf and then turn back into his like human base form so that's why I got him standing on him and then we got uh, uh uh, Kagome and uh, Kagome was definitely one of the characters when I first started watching this I was like oh she's kind of be an, an annoying character but as I got into it and she started really showing her archer skills I realized that she was actually really cool so this one I actually did finish the series to Inuyasha recently and I, I, I definitely recommend it um, I, I did recently and I'm, I'm going to botch the name of it because I forget what it's called but the, the spinoff in Yuasha show with Tishomaru's daughter, I, I have watched like two, three episodes of it, and it looks sick. Um, I'm really excited to see where is the Inuyasha cast and like finish that story. But I did finish in terms of like all the Inuyasha anime, I did finish all of that. Right next to them, we have the Full Metal Alchemist crew. Now, this is an anime that I only started watching yesterday, and I got to like episode six. So I'm aware his name is Ed, I think it's Elric, and then his name is El Elric. Um, I don't remember her name off the top of my head, but she isn't like in a major character than what I thought she was. She's kind of more like grew up with these guys and then she's their mechanic, so she just fixes them up. Um, in terms of like the detailing and stuff like that, I really like this Ed pop. Like, to me, this one's sick. You got his metal arm. You got his sword sticking out. You got him using his powers, bringing out that, uh, I believe it's, like, magic, maybe, or sorcery he does. Um, I just like his whole cloak. Like, his gear is on point. He's got his braid. You know what I mean? Like, this, to me, is one of the dopest uh, Full Metal Alchemist pops that they have out there. And then, um, L, there's only, like, two L ones. There's one with him regular, and then we have one with him in these cats. Um, I haven't gotten to the point of the anime where I know what this comes from, so I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know what these cats are. Um, I know that he's a soul inside of this suit of armor, and I know that his brother uh, sold his arm or made a deal with the devil. That's how he came back. But it's very interesting. I, I would say that the anime is not bad, and it's definitely something that I, I will eventually finish in my lifetime. Um, that one's sick. And I'll give you a quick little uh, close-up on her, even though I don't know too much about her. Um, and the, from what I did watch in the anime, she's a pretty cool character as well. Um, I started watching the anime, but the problem is, is like, there's so many seasons, and I'm not sure which season I started. It said season one, but they just jumped in, and it doesn't feel like it's season one. So, I'll, I gotta figure that out. After that, Hunter x Hunter. Alright, guys. Gone. Killua. I got the hot topic gone. You know what I mean? Uh, I just liked this one better, honestly. Even though the other one, he was doing a cooler thing. Uh, this one just reminded me more of the anime when he took off his shirt and he started getting a little more serious when he started fighting. Um, so this was pretty dope to me. Uh, Gom again from uh, Hunter x Hunter. And then we got Killua. This is one that's also going up in value since he's dropped. Uh, it was Killua. And I understand why just by looking at the pop and the detail that went into it. Like, it's just sick. The stand is built in with Killua with this electricity, so he, he can't just pop out of it. He actually stays like that, and I, I wish they would have done like that for a lot of them, honestly. Like, I know the Rock Lee is like that as well. It's, like, built into him. Um, they need to do that more because people end up breaking it. Like, I showed you with Botan, and then it's stuck, and 
then it's like you know destroyed but if they do it like that it's pretty sure it's more safer um so we got Kilowar. and then we got this clown dude i forget his name from hunter x hunter again i'm not a big hunter x hunter fan seen a couple episodes of him uh but he was my favorite guy in hunter x hunter he, his powers of like the the blue or the gel gel whatever they were were just sick and i just remember him having the most dopest fight with Gong, and he kind of like played with Gong throughout the whole fight, and then took out Gong really easily. So that was like one of the things I remember from this anime. Um, I, I I say I haven't really seen it like that, but I, I I have seen like three seasons of Hunter X Hunter, and it's just not for me. Like uh, I don't know what it is about Hunter X Hunter, but it, it just hasn't clicked for me in terms of like oh this is one of my favorite animes or anything. So um, like I said, this is this is pretty much. Everything I have, you know what I mean? Oh, matter of fact, sorry, one more thing before we go. We got the two Dolphies from One Piece. Dolphy and his mystery mini. I knew I was forgetting something. Uh, he was just a really cool villain. I'm not going to lie in the whole One Piece art. If I had to say, like, who was my favorite villain in One Piece, it will probably be Dolphy right now. I'm not even going to lie. I was thinking Crocodile, but he's kind of a piece of shit. So um, I'm going to go with Dolphy, even though Dolphy's, like, evil as hell, too. Uh, I think Dolphy has a nicer background, like a, like a more detailed and explained reason for why he's a, such a serial killer. Uh, but that is it. That was my full collection breakdown. I was where I got pretty much every single one. If there was a crazy story to the pops, and um, if there was something you know reasonable or to explain, or even if you guys are interested and wanted to know where you can get them, I try to say where I got these pops from. So. Guys, until next time, please comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think of my show. Let me know if y'all have any other ideas. You know what I mean? Maybe you guys have seen a Funko a Pop of an anime pop that I haven't been able to see. You know what I mean? Or know about. My Twitter information will be down below. Definitely hit me up. I'm going to be putting up every week You know when the next video is going to be dropping. I will be trying to tease out the thumbnails. So definitely I will keep you guys up to date. Until next, guys, peace.